Mimi, if you're new here, make sure you click that red subscribe button to join my squad if you have not already. So today is going to be another cosmetology school type of vlog. Um, so in my other vlog, I did say that my test was going to be on Tuesday, but they said, surprise, you're taking your test today. So actually, we took our test on, we took half of it on Wednesday and then the rest on Friday. So right now, you're just seeing me practicing some um, curls with the Marcel iron. We had to do three curls, one at 45 one at 90 and one at 135 um the on base off base and half on half off and all that crap like that so you just see me practicing because i don't really like the marcel iron like that but i can do it um i feel like everybody in my class we have um at least burnt ourselves like once or twice because of how they taught us to do it because you have to roll you have to clink clink clank it and all of that and you want to be careful not to burn yourself or your potential client and we also have to put our comb there so we can not burn our clients. So that is what you're going to be seeing me to do today. Just practice a little bit of curls and then you're going to see me go to lunch. And then um, you're going to see me do a style at the end. I couldn't really record the whole test just because I was trying to focus. And because when I take tests, I get very nervous. So I'm very, I really wanted to focus and not mess up. But I am glad to say that I passed my core exam and now I am on to Protege. So we, you will see more vlogs, fun vlogs of me and Protege because that's when we can actually use color and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vloggy vlog. how I do the Marcel iron curls because sometimes if I'm not careful enough it will fall and whatever but the curl will still hold but I just hate how it falls I want it to sit right on top that is my problem like when I was taking this test uh, it took me longer than like some people because I am a perfectionist so I had to go back because if I'm getting graded on it I want everything to be perfect and I only ended up missing like four things um, for everything so that was good so so it's lunchtime. I'm eating like this hot pocket chicken bowl with some water and fruit, of course. Um, it was something light. So now it is our mass break, or I think it's still lunchtime or whatever. I don't remember. My hair was poofy. <laughs> so here's just me showing you guys that I passed everything. I only got four things wrong on my test. And now what we're going to be doing is doing this style that I saw on Pinterest. Um, this was the last day for us being in court, so she told us to just do a style. And I wanted to try some type of wedding updo type of thing because I don't really do that. So I think it really, I think it came out really nice, and you'll see at the end. But I mainly just curled it with some holding spray, and then I did some twists, and then I did some little curls in the front. It came out really cute. Um, I just don't like doing hair on the mannequin because it looks weird because the mannequin is not realistic at all. But they say if you can do hair on the mannequin, you can do hair on anybody. So just a little tippy tip for you guys. I'm trying to like move the camera and move everything so you guys can see. Sorry about the things that are blocking. That was where my station was. So just try to look as best as you can. One thing about Paul Mitchell is that we have to use things that are only by Paul Mitchell. Like, say if I want to use a hairspray, it has to be by Paul Mitchell. Say if I want to use an edge control, it has to be by Paul Mitchell. Even though they don't have an edge control, we just use wax. 
So everything we have to use on our mannequin heads and like our clients have to be Paul Mitchell or we can actually get kind of in trouble. Not really in trouble, but like they will say something. So just an FYI, if you do want to attend a Paul Mitchell school, you have to use products by Paul Mitchell, obviously and um new stuff like that on your clients you can't bring any outside things that aren't approved so just a little tippy tip for those who did not know Right here i'm just measuring everything i am a perfectionist when it comes to hair i well at least i try to be and i'm just using some texturizing spray to help um smooth everything down so with this spray that paul mitchell offers i'm not trying to sell it to you guys but i just think it was cool it is like a spray wax if if and it like has like a texture the only thing i don't like about it is that it has like a weird type of feeling on the hair but it does make everything sleek and so you won't have any flyaways so i think i might even try this product on my hair like when i do ponytails and stuff like that or maybe even my clients just to see how it will work but i am just doing some two strand twist and i'm using that spray again and my comb my comb is my favorite tool just to help smooth everything down how i want it to be so this is one of our mask breaks i'm leaving the classroom because we have to leave the building in order to take off of our mask stuff like that but it was so cold in the building and once i stepped outside it was so hot and i was like no girl let me go back inside <laughs> so here's me trying to finish everything that i'm doing i am making sure that everything's smooth again i am measuring things i like things to be nice and neat um I just I don't know like hair is everything to be and so I need it to look how I envisioned it in my head so I'm not spraying a whole bunch I'm sorry that I put the spray in front of the freaking camera come on Mimi what are you doing I realized that so I moved it <laughs> so I am just taking my time with this I never really rush a hairstyle just because I feel like if I'm rushed it won't come out how I want it to come out and then I will start to hate it and i don't like feeling like that but yeah that's just me twisting up some hair girl
gist of the style um and what i'm doing so for some reason like the way they taught us how to do like curls with a flat art is not the way that i am doing it so do it how they teach you but i have to do it my way or i will not like the outcome i told you guys once before i'm a perfectionist so if i do not see something i will do it over three times to make sure that i like it and that's what really slows me down because this this really didn't take me long i was probably like the third to finish first or whatever but just showing you guys the curls and how i do them and you'll see the final result soon i believe I couldn't find the picture um for this style that i saw on pinterest it was only the video and i'm not sure i can include the video without being copyrighted but basically it looked just like this but the twists were done a little bit differently but i like to put my own spin and creative thoughts or whatever on hairstyles that i see i don't like to just copy them i like to always put my input in my twist on them so that is what i'm doing here and yes you see me looking tired and irritated because i gotta wear a mask when i'm doing hair it is very annoying because sometimes i feel like it's sliding down or sometimes i feel like i cannot breathe or i'm getting too hot so we do take 10 minute mask breaks every what 30 minutes so i mean that's helpful whatever but sometimes it'd be too hot outside to go outside but you know it's better than nothing i guess pretty much finishing the bag i didn't want this video to be too long but i'm so so excited for you guys to see me in my new classroom doing new things and actually using chemicals to do applications and stuff like that and i just want to thank everybody who watches these type of videos and are inspired or are nervous about starting their new journey at cosmetology school and i hope my videos really really do help you guys and help you guys get excited and prepared for what is to come and i wish everybody happy and blessings along their journey so so yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to me for more. I will definitely be posting more. And here are the final results, kind of, sort of. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to fit everything in as I could, but you know, it's whatever. But yeah, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Mwah.